Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to make another navigation menu from an unordered list. In my last video, we created this uh, vertical oriented navigation menu with background color changes. The next one's going to be a horizontal navigation menu, and I'm going to put it on the exact same web page here so that both menus are on the same page, and you can find that file, that HTML file with CSS, in the description of the video. So, let's do a little bit of setup. Here's my page as it stands now. I've got my vertical with background color, but I want a horizontal with background color now. I'm actually going to take this whole thing, copy the H2 and the nav, and paste it. And I'll go ahead and change this over to horizontal, but I want them to be different menus. So I'm going to go to my first navigation menu. There's the nav tag, and I'm going to put in ID equals vert. Okay, so that's the vertical one. And then I'll go to this other one and I'll put in ID equals ORS for horizontal. Okay, so I'm going to save that. Oh, I need a quotation mark in there. There we go. So now my two navigation menus are uniquely identified. Now, because I made those changes there, I added an ID. I do need to go up here to my CSS. This is all the styles for my original one. And I'm going to go to nav pound sign vert. And I'm going to add this to each of my references to the first set of nav. So these are all controlling my horizontal nav, I'm sorry, my vertical navigation menu. So I'll save that. Now if I go to my browser now and refresh, notice that my vertical navigation menu is fine. Uh, and now my future horizontal navigation menu, it looks like just a plain old list because I need to do some formatting with it. So let's start working on that one. Let's see, my horizontal navigation menu is going to be the exact same HTML. There's nothing different you need to do to make a horizontal menu with the HTML side of things. It's all done with the style sheets. So let's get working on the style sheet part. And I'm going to go ahead and create nav pound sign hors unordered list. And I'm going to do some things that you saw me do in the previous video for doing vertical because they're practically the same. There's just a couple little differences. So I'll go a little bit quicker on this one. And let's see, I'm going to go ahead and put in a background color, but this one I'll do a shade of green there. And I'll go ahead and set some margin of about 40 pixels. There we go, that's pretty good. And a little bit of padding of about 20 pixels. Takes care of that. Then I'm going to do a descendant selector here. So my horizontal nav, unordered list, list items. Okay, this one I'm going to do list style type none. Okay, this gets rid of the bullets. Now for the other menu, I did list style type none for the unordered list. Now I'm doing list style type none for the list item. It doesn't matter though. You can do it either way. And I just wanted to show you, you can go both ways on this one. List style type none can go inside of the rule for the unordered list, or it can go in the rule for the list items within the unordered list. In addition, I'm going to set a background color on these and I'll do a uh, black and I will also do a little bit of margin okay so let's see how this is looking there we go and that's exactly what we should expect it to look like um, let me I want to be able to scroll this up a little bit higher in my video so you can kind of disregard this part here but I'm gonna just put in some break tags right down there oops wrong button. There we go. Repeat that. There we go. This makes it easier for me to scroll up so you can kind of focus on what I'm working on here. So horizontal with background color, that's what we've got so far. Now to make these horizontal and get them side by side, once again, I'm going to adjust the width of my list items. So let me go make those list items a little bit more narrow. Um, width, of course, is what I need. I'll do 120 pixels again. Let me save that. There we go. Now they're narrow. Now to get them side by side, if you recall what I did on, remember that two column layout video? Um, it's a couple videos ago. 
making a two column layout. Basically, two column layout took a couple of divs, or in that video I used section tags, so a couple of sections. I floated one section to the left, so the next flesh section would slide up to the right. That's the exact same thing I'm going to do here. List items are block elements, just like sections, or divs, or headline ones, or paragraphs. And if you float one to the left, whatever follows it will slide up to the right, assuming there's room. And since these are narrow, and there's plenty of room to deal with, it shouldn't be a problem. So, all of my list items are going to float to the right, I'm sorry, I'm going to float them to the left, so that what follows slides up to the right. There we go, so now they're side by side, let's take care of this, um, unordered list. I'm going to put in overflow hidden, which will allow it to expand and contain these objects that are floating. Alright, so things are looking really good here. There's my horizontal navigation menu. Let's go ahead and clean it up a little bit. I'm going to manipulate the anchors inside of my list items. So my horizontal nav has unordered lists inside of there. Within that, there are some list items. Within that, there are some anchors. I'm going to take these anchors, and I'm going to display them as block elements. That'll convert them into block elements, so I can manipulate their widths and margins much more easily. And I'm going to set their widths to be 120 pixels. I'll set the height to be 30 pixels. I'm going to do text align center. That will center the text. In the um, that'll center the text horizontally within the button, and I'm also going to do line height of 30 pixels. Okay, I talked about I used line height in the uh, vertical menu too. So doing a line height that's the same as the height of the block anchor that's going to make it look vertically centered in the button. Okay, and let me go ahead and set the color to a nice bright yellow since I have that black background. Okay, I'm going to make those changes refresh. Excellent. So now you'll notice I can put my pointer right anywhere on that black button to get that hyperlink status. Let's go ahead and get rid of our text decoration. Let me scroll up so you can see what I'm doing here. And let's see, how about a little font weight bold. That looks good. Font size 9 points. And how about a little bit of Text transform, uppercase. There we go. So that's how my navigation menu is looking. I've got my horizontal navigation menu. Next thing I might do is just take this unordered list and I am going to narrow it down a little bit. Okay, if I was better at math, I could tell you exactly the number I need. Let's see 240, 480. So I've got 480 pixels of width of buttons, plus there's some space in between. I'm just going to guess here at width 520 pixels, and that'll do a little trial and error. There we go, save that. Oh, too narrow. Good, I'm actually glad this happened. So, my unordered list was made too narrow to contain all four buttons and their various space in between. So one of my buttons got knocked down to the bottom there, so I'll have to adjust that. I could start just go up a little bit at a time here. Let's go a little bit bigger. There we go. So now I can get all my buttons side by side. So there's my horizontal navigation menu with uh, background colors. Let me do a little hover on there too, just so we can make that look a little slicker. I'm going to copy that selector, make another one, but this is going to be the hover state of my anchor tags. And I'll do background color. red and a foreground color of um, yellow. Okay, oh that'll look pretty good. Let's see. Refresh. There we go. Now since I was already using yellow, I'll just change this over to white. Okay. So there's my horizontal navigation menu using background colors. Really pretty much the same as the vertical menu but I'm floating each list item to the left.